Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this episode, we made it. The season is finally over. Callum, thank God that's done. Oh, it feels so good after feeling so bad for the whole season. The season hasn't been pretty, definitely not defensively anyway. There's been very little highs, plenty of lows, but the season is now behind us. We would review the game, but let's be honest, nobody wants to hear about the game itself. We're all now looking forward to the summer and the rebuild that Jim Goodwin has in store for us. What we will say though, Callum, I think is just a big thank you to all of you who have listened to the show, watched the show, shared this episode and the show in general throughout the season. It's, it's really much appreciated. Certainly. I mean, you don't have to choose to come in to tune into our thoughts. We're no more than just a couple of idiots that watch football, uh, but it's appreciated that people do seem to tune in and enjoy it, whether it's um, in a sort of sadistic way to enjoy our misery or um, just as you know, a little bit more of therapy, perhaps, as maybe we're sharing some of the same thoughts, but it is much appreciated. Um, I don't know, we'd still be doing it without you if anyone didn't tune in, who knows? So thank you very much for that. Yeah, especially this season as well, as we said, there's not been a lot to write home about. I remember my dentist saying to me as well, I really don't like listening to uh, Aberdeen podcasts after defeat, so I'm sure he's not listened to many this season, in fact. But um, as I said, there's not really much to talk about from today's game. So um, thanks very much for listening to today's episode of Red Tinted Glasses. But do stay tuned um, if you are new to the channel um, or haven't done so already. And um, wherever you're tuning into Red Tinted Glasses, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, because we do have some exciting content coming out over the summer months. We have a full season review with Richard Gordon coming up in the next week to 10 days. Um, as we sit down with the BBC broadcaster to look back at the Dons season as we look back at recruitment. Yes, really. Um, our cup runs, lack of, mm-hmm. um, and season in general, and kind of take a look at what is needed to improve on things um, next summer. And Calm, we've also got something to lift the mood uh, a little bit as well, which we'll, we'll maybe get out sooner rather than later. Certainly, I look forward to hearing the reaction to that. And also, if you do want to lift your mood maybe slightly and um, watch me be a fool of myself a little bit more in the summer to fill your time and watch a half-decent, albeit not real, Aberdeen side, then please do head over to my channel on YouTube as well. It's just Callum Wright. I'm managing Aberdeen in a 1992-93 database. Ian Jess is there. Scott Booth is there. We're all having a nice time, so be sure to check that out too, please. Yeah, um, I'm sure many people will to, to lift the mood. And the Five Aside episode um, with Richard Gordon will be coming out shortly as well, where we look to pick the ideal Five Aside from the last 20 years. Uh, Great Britain and Ireland squad versus the rest of the world squad. think it's easy. Well, Richard Gordon certainly had a laugh trying to be the adjudicator um, in it. So stay tuned for that. It was a really fun bit to record um, and we'll look to get that out for you as well. Um, And as Calum says, head over to his own channel to check out some Football Manager content as well. We'll be back over the summer um, reacting to any transfer news and maybe have a little reaction to the Premier Sports group stage draw as well. But for now, enjoy that pint, enjoy your time off and we'll see you next season. See you then. Thank you.